Hey guys, what's up? Mike McDonald here, just coming out of Minnesota. And uh, today's video, I wanted to do something uh, a little bit unorthodox, but I actually want to talk about um, how my favorite movie, Ghostbusters, relates a lot to your business and being an entrepreneur. Now, it might sound a little crazy, but you know what? It's my favorite movie. I love it, obviously. Got a lot of stuff. That's cool. But anyways, um, it's crazy. I, I saw a little article online the other day talking about this, and it kind of gave me a flashback when I was in college taking some pop culture class, you know, mandatory or whatever, it was weird, but we had to write an article on, or a paper, on basically what the most influential movie was in our life, and Ghostbusters, it's my favorite movie of all time, hands down, it's pretty awesome, but basically, I said how it really shaped my journey to being an entrepreneur, got me interested in that field. Now, I don't know if you've seen the movie, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, you need to go watch it right now. It's amazing, it's one of my favorites all time, hands down, gotta see it. Um, but basically, it goes over their journey and a lot of it has to do with what your journey is gonna be like as an entrepreneur. You know, Maybe you're in network marketing, maybe you're in direct sales, uh, maybe you're just starting your own home business, whatever the case is, the journey is pretty similar. So basically, you look at the Ghostbusters, they're college professors, you know, they're pursuing their career, they're looked as a prestigious, you know, member of society, and all of a sudden, you know, they get these ideas that they should be catching ghosts, that it's a possibility, you know, they have some theories that a lot of people think are crazy, and what happens is they go out and they're talking about this, they're telling their students this, they're spending research money on these projects, and they basically get fired from their college. So they get rejected by the academic world or the norm saying, hey, you know, you guys are crazy, just, you know, go to school, get good grades, teach regular science, teach regular psychology, that's what you guys should be doing, you know, give these ideas up. So that's probably going to happen in your business. You might get an idea that you want to start something, or you join network marketing, or you start your own business. People might think you're crazy, you know, why don't you stick to that safe, secure job? Why don't you just stay in school? Why don't you just get your degree, go for your master's, you know, stick to that safe, work for 40 years, and uh, you'll retire when you're 70. And again, it's like, that's cool. You can do that, but at the same time, being an entrepreneur is a little bit different. So again, they go out there, you know, they, they strike it out on their own, they start their own business. Um, they basically risk everything ha they have, you know. Ray takes out his like third mortgage on his family's house. You know, they invest everything they have and then they, they start to make mistakes just like you're going to do in your business. You know, they build, they buy some crazy rundown building, um, where they want to have their headquarters, um, just because it's got cool fire poles. <laughs> you know, they, they focus on the wrong things and then they waste all their money on, you know, arcade games, you know, buying cool stuff for, for the firehouse and, you know, they don't really spend anything on advertising. Um, they buy a, ter a car, you know, the Ecto-1, they buy that but it's in terrible shape. They need to, you know, dump thousands and thousands of dollars in repairs. They start overstaffing, they're hiring, you know, a secretary, you know, whatever. So they're making mistakes in their business but that's going to happen with you as well. So it's just part of the learning curve. And so they go through that and then all of a sudden they get their first customer and they're super jacked, they're crazy, they go out there, they're super excited and then the business starts rolling. You know, they get that customer, they get a good result, um, they get in the groove and then they start making money, things are blowing up, they're getting famous, they're getting popular and then all of a sudden they hit a roadblock. You know, somebody from the EPA comes in, Walter Pack tries to shut them down whatever and you're gonna have setbacks in your business too you know maybe you have everything's going great and then one of your top producers quits or you know maybe you get rid of a product that was really cranking for you or you know I don't know what the case might be for your business but you know maybe somebody in your family gets sick you know get in a car accident whatever the case is you're gonna have setbacks in your business and that's part of what happens but you gotta have that mental toughness to keep working through that and same thing with what happened with the Ghostbusters you know they're getting rid ridiculed people are calling them con artists um, scammers ghosts aren't real it's all kinds of BS whatever so you know what you're gonna have people that do that in your business you know if you're in network marketing or multi-level marketing you're gonna have ignorant people talking about you're in a pyramid like people at the top only make the money you have to get in first to be a millionaire or whatever there's all kinds of crazy ideas and notions that people that are ignorant on the industry 
just don't understand. They don't understand leverage. They don't understand, you know, how business works. So they're going to mock you and make fun of you. It's the same kind of concept that happened with them. But end of the movie, what happens, sorry, spoiler alert, <laughs> but it's cool, like, you know, it's the end of the world's going down, everything's going crazy, ghosts are taking over, and finally the people are like, all right, cool, you know, we'll give you a shot, do what you got to do, and they end up saving the world. So it's kind of like, same thing with your business, as long as you keep being persistent and putting that effort in, just going for it, forgetting about what the haters say, what the naysayers, you know, the negative people are talking about. You just keep going through those sacrifices, through that struggle. Focus on the prize, not the struggle. So again, you know, they end up saving the world, getting a good result, being successful. Same thing can happen in your business. But it's just it's interesting where it's kind of looked at like a comedy, whatever, and most people don't get that correlation with it. So um, again, just wanted to throw out this quick video. Sorry, the dogs are going crazy in the background. I don't know what they're doing. But anyways, um, if you like this video, if you found value in it, please comment, like, share. Uh, for sure, subscribe to my channel. You know, if you are in network marketing, maybe you're looking to take your business to the next level, um, want to figure out the right ways to do it and learn from somebody successful, uh, head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com. You can actually just put in your name and email and you'll get access to my totally free training on how to become a master inviter. So if you're looking to expose over 100 people in the next 30 days uh, to your business and become a master inviter, go on over to coachmikemcdonald.com. Just click on the link in the description below and just enter your name and email. But appreciate everybody's time. We'll look forward to talking to you again soon.